Hey guys, James here with Johnson RV, and today we're going to take a quick look at the 2006 Forest River Georgetown. Uh, quick thing about it, it's about 34 feet in length. It's going to be on the Triton V10 engine with 362 horsepower. Kind of a key point here, we have the big tires, the 22 and a half with an aluminum wheel. Not going to corrode and kind of rust on you. Big van-like mirrors, and a good thing about this Ani, it's A&E Dometic. That sounds familiar, it's the same brand as your fringe, been around forever, but it has a wind sensor to it. So when that's fully extended out, and say we're at the beach one day and the wind kicks up when you're gone, it will automatically put itself right back in. A little further down, three step, easy to get to. No two tall steps in here into the side. Um, first slide out here is on the passenger side, and above it you're going to notice it has that piece of fabric, it's called a slide topper. That's keep it rain, tree branches, a little everything debris away from the slide out itself. Nice thick gasket, nice and sealed. Plenty of storage to it. Let me open up one of these guys real quick. I just want to make one thing with the storage. You know, still plenty of carpet in here. Uh, there's gonna be no, no mildew or mold or anything. And if you're gonna run something out, so one of these jacks or plugins that are inside, you can actually unscrew this and run the wire straight down and leave this compartment shut. Kind of a neat feature. Back tires, again, we're dually to it. 34 feet seems to be the sweet spot for most people. You can get into those state parks, go easy to drive, maneuver up, plenty of storage. Again, no carpet in here. That thick ABS plastic, easy to work with. It's a partial body paint, meaning this bottom skirt from here down is truly painted. Well, the top ones are decals. Rear of the coach, full extension ladder. And as we work our way to the very top, Dead center in the middle, we're looking at a backup camera. A lot of lights in here, no one's gonna not see it down the road. And we look all the way down, we're all ready to tow. So if you're in a boat, trailer, hitch, cars, what have you, hitch right here, as well as a seven way connection with the charge line that works for the electric brakes. That seems to be the big question one has. Here on the driver's side, we're gonna see good two shots of the slide outs here. We got a big one in the front living room and a nice big back bedroom. Makes a world of difference once we get in the inside. Below that will be our wash station, but I want to get you, I'm going to crawl underneath here real quick to you a little more of the storage. There seems to be a big portion to it. Uh, I may have had this guy locked. Here we be. You get a good shot. The way these work, they go almost all the way through to it. So if you have lawn chairs, I know, something you like to bring fishing poles, what have you, really is going to, and again, no carpet. Let's go check a look on the inside. Thanks for joining me inside. Now we're gonna look at just the cab area. Again, it's on the Triton V10, 362 horsepower. Plenty the same size motor they put in some that's 38 feet. So being that we're a little shorter, that 34, plenty of power for us. Um, when you sit down, you, all adjustments here, that could be a smart wheel, so you can do your on and off or cruise control and what have you. Right down here, generator start and stop. Only have 122 hours, which is nothing, a little more than just broken in. Back of camera here. Uh, that's the same thing we saw back there, real easy to work with. And also have our leveling jack. So if you get to a side that's a little uneasy, real easy to work with. Above we've got some storage I'll show you. Kind of this where you put your switch box if you're going to be using any of the TVs or satellite. All operates here. They have updated the TVs, the nice LCD style. Chairs spin around and right behind us to join the living room arrangement. Kind of frosted cabinets here, real nice looking. Kind of a key thing with RVers out here is how deep these are. So pretty good, real easy to get in there. Plenty of board games can fit in. Couch makes it onto a sleeping arrangement, as does the dinette style. Uh, kind of a neat thing to point out. Accordion, real easy here. Something was ever to happen. These aren't ones you have to replace and buy a whole new kit. You can just restring them. Cost two dollars. It's a real basic thing. Test and proven. Been in a thousand RVs. Right across the kitchen arrangement. I'd say it's more of a corner style. Um, I'm not a very tall guy, but still plenty of counter space for us. Cabinets, again, that depth is so important for these RVs. And just take a look how deep this is. Now I'm, again, not a very tall guy, but I can't even fit the back to it. High rise sink. This guy doubles as a cutting board here. One less thing you have to bring. It's also nice that they actually have the oven here in addition to the convection microwave. So if you're not used to that new convection, completely have the oven. If you don't need the oven, it's great for pots and pans and stuff to store. Uh, Norco refrigerator. This is going to be both gas and electric and has automatic setting. So if you were to be unplugged in the middle of the night or run out of propane, it automatically switches over. Give you a good shot of just a lot of the cabinet. The 34 feet, this is actually pretty surprising how much we have. Nice little divider here. 
bathroom to your right, and then we'll have a straight across from it. It's gonna be a shower. Now this is a Neo Angle shower, and all that means is it's a big shower. Big shower, big skylight, natural. Maybe we have no lights on right now, and there's still plenty of light in here. Bed, this is our another slide. We have three slides total, and the reason why each one's important is you have the big living room, and then this big bad, no, bedroom area, you would say. Walk around queen. Closet here, plenty of hang-up space. TV comes out on a swivel. Guys, if any questions on this, just a short video. Please give us a call at 253-286-0833. Thanks, have a good day.